Welcome to the Third Strike Primer for Ryu or Ryu, however you grew up uh, calling him. Here is his move list. Pretty straightforward as far as a Shoto goes. He has three supers. They're all actually very good, but typically starting out you want him to use number one, and that's what we'll cover for today. Uh, his highest potential super is super number three, but that's a little more advanced stuff. And if you're playing someone better than you, you're probably not going to have that great of success landing it. So let's just focus on super number one for this video. Uh, you know the order we go through buttons. There's jab, medium punch, furious punch, light kick, medium kick, roundhouse, or heavy kick. Light punch, typical uh, Shoto light punch. It's quick. You don't uh, use it in combos that much, but outside of combos and setting different things up, it's quite useful. Medium punch is actually not that bad either. Certain ranges, right outside of his throw range is where it hits but other than a counter poke I really wouldn't use it that much Fierce Punch uh, great great normal to peg people with when they're jump when you're close to them and they start to jump or even certain anti-airs uh, if they have a move already stick out specifically against Dudley this move is fantastic uh, his crouching version is can be used as an anti-air too, so keep that in mind. It also can be a counter poke because it actually does have a hitbox near his feet. So if someone sticks out something that is uh, not hitting Ryu but close enough to where there's basically near his toes, he can actually counter poke that into. Uh, let's see, a Hadouken, a Donkey Punch, a Super, whatever. But uh, let's, I'm getting ahead of myself. Anyway, that's his Fierce Punch. Light Kick, typical not, I mean, this shouldn't be used. Uh, if you're going to use Light Kick, just use Crouching Light Kick. Medium Kick, uh, this can go over low forwards. It's kind of short though, so the spacing has to be real good but it is it is a good poke regardless of it being slightly shorter than it than I would like it to be <laughs> it's low forward is like all the other low forwards except this is uh, much slower than Ken's low forward and that is kinda why the Chun-Li match is harder for Ryu than it is Ken because his normals uh, that Ken, Ken the same normals that he has that Ken has uh, are slower so in that matchup it's specifically hard for Ryu com comparatively to uh, Ken. Uh, anyway he has his sweep which of course uh, is a great long distance knockdown kind of quick but again it's slower than the other Shotos so be careful on that of course uh, all Shoto sweeps in this game are punishable uh, if they block it so be wary of that. Um, air to air moves. Uh, if you're meeting someone in the air, you get bo both of you guys jump, you want to use something like a medium punch that hits twice. So we'll have to parry it twice. And it's also uh, great for just jumping up. Comes out really quick and will uh, hit the other person a lot faster than they hit you. Um, also, Air Hurricane Kick. Many times, it's a very awkward parry in the air because many times they'll parry one, and the next kick comes around at such a weird, like, delayed hit that it's awkward to parry. Sometimes someone will parry that first hit and just pop right over <laughs> and not even get a chance to punish you. So um, that's another thing to add to the air to air. Um, jump ins, you would want to use Fierce Punch, Roundhouse. His, his crossover is his medium kick, but it's not as good as someone like Ken's. So, like as you can see there, like it whiffs. And so, be careful of that. And very late jumping medium punch gives them the two hits. But you have to do it later, so we'll do only do one hit, like right there. 
So, if you like that, got to do it late enough to get two. Alright, so let's um, go into his normals and then we'll go into more gameplay style stuff. Alright, or I'm not, sorry, not his normals, his uh, special. So yes, this is a Duke and of course, Light is the slow one, Fierce is the heavy, uh, faster one, but EX is much faster and the best uh, fireball on the ground in this game. So keep that in mind. And then uh, it it's very good for catching people. You know when they want to close, when the, the enemy wants to close the distance, and you know they're gonna use a dash or something that pushes them forward. Uh, it's not a bad idea to just throw out an ex Hadouken, uh and catch them uh, moving forward because this is really fast, and especially at ranges like this, it. Uh, catches a lot of people whipping uh, normals or dashing or trying to jump or something like that. So uh, a great tool when you have the meter to spend it on. Um, also another bonus to this super is that you can use EX's and still have a super uh, locked away. So bonus for that. Hurricane Kick. Very strong Hurricane Kick, it only hits once, his normal versions of it, uh, but it does a lot of stun and a lot of damage. So it's strong, it can cross up when you do it in the air, so that's just one more thing you can be uh, annoying with. <laughs> so his super has the same, or I'm sorry, his EX Hurricane Kick has the same properties as his Street Fighter 4 incarnation. Uh, you can super, or in Street Fighter 4's case it would be Ultra, but in this case you could super e in the corner after his EX uh, Tatsu. So, and it also has the same application that it does in Street Fighter 4 that you can walk forward and quickly do that and they will whip or their throw will come out and they will get uh, snatched up. Alright, and now so he has his donkey kick or his Jodan or Jodan or whatever it's called. Um, he has his normal versions of course, which just different strengths do different. These are pun or I'm sorry, kick uh, kick moves, and whatever distance it is goes different. It correlates to the different strength, obviously. So it's used for big stun uh, and good damage. His EX version is probably the best one. And well, I'm here. So you can see that's over 50% stun and a grip of life. So uh, Ryu hitting a jump in uh, really hurts. You can do it off the ground too, of course. Um, you can combo the donkey kick from a fierce punch, a medium, a close medium, crouching medium, uh, the light one. You can combo off of a medium punch, crash a medium punch, so those are the o only only the light version. The medium and fierce uh, require the harder punches. And actually the fierce, or I'm sorry, the fierce donkey kick uh, doesn't combo with the fierce punch or the other ones, so just keep that in mind and then um, <coughs> Let's see, he has, uh, oh man, I, I'm just missing some stuff. He has his overhead, his command overhead, which is forward and forward medium punch. It can be comboed after, but uh, that's a little more advanced and hard to pull off, so... You know, take note of it, I guess, but uh, don't be troubled if you see someone else do it and uh, you're not able to do it. it. It's a little tough. And then, of course, he always has his normal overhead, like all Third Strike characters. He has his one chain, which is Furious, oh, I'm sorry, Far Furious Roundhouse. Kind of like Alina, you just go from Furious to Roundhouse. It has to be the Furious, the Far Furious, though, that one. You get the close one, it doesn't work. All right, now, what else about Mr. Ryu? Let's talk about his super a bit. Uh, let's actually, his car grab. The same move, the forward overhead like that, 
you need to use in his car grab. And you just hold forward and medium punch. And then shortly after, you input the throw, which is light punch and light kick. And uh, he takes a step forward and throws. Alright, now. He has his basic combos, you know, like low 40 expire ball, which is safe and less red parried. Um, so be, you know, like if you're if you're unsure how to attack someone on their wake up, you let them wake up, give them like I don't know half a second to see if they do anything, and then do low 40 expire ball. Very safe to do. Uh, very hard to um, if they block it to red parry and punish you for it and um, you know gets the job done as far as damage and, and puts them farther in the corner which of course is very advantageous for your enemy to be in the corner uh, so there's that let's see that with the fireball Joe Dan of course gets them over there um, let's get into his super. So his super, it is this right here. It's just a super strong fireball, five hits, and it can be linked off of his low forward, or canceled, oh sorry, his medium punch. Um, it can be combo it canceled from your special moves like your uppercut. But um, if you do the fierce one, fierce uppercut to cancel super, it won't even hit like that. So be careful of that. And it has funny usual usage like that. Um, I don't know. But anyway, <coughs> if you're near the corner and you get it off, oh, whoops! If you're near the corner and you get it off, you can hit again after it. So keep that in mind. Of course, there's the low forward, like I said, the medium punch. Uh, short short is one that you need to learn for sure. That is definitely one you need to learn. Uh, he can do the same thing with this, crouching medium, or I'm sorry, crouching light, crouching sh uh, jab, and then crouching light. You can just go one to the other, there's no specific timing, you can just go right into it. Okay, and that's kind of the basics for landing his super. His super is actually very good for um, if you want to punish laggy attacks from across the screen, let's say I'm buffering my super, and Ken's buffering his, I don't know, Hadouken, you know? And if you do it at the same time as he is, has his Hadouken, you can go through the his Hadouken and punish him. Uh, I do I do this a lot to Furians, because I they love to throw out random tackles, and they love to throw out random um, fireballs, and if you do it early enough, it's a free punish, so uh, free super on their face. Alright, now let's talk about the gameplay of Ryu. Ryu is a slower Shoto, but he's super hard hitting, he's got great damage, and he's super scary because he does so much stun. Uh, he can be very explosive, and uh, the whole parry system allows him to be uh, just insane as far as a threat and scare factor. Um, of course, there is the, you know, I kind of covered this in previous primers about how you bait people to whiff throw, you walk into their throw range and then walk right out. Um, it's especially to, helpful to, to characters that have car throws because when you walk out of their throw range, you're still in your throw range. So that's specific, uh, helps characters with car throws uh, more than others. But, uh, well, I shouldn't say more than others, I just should say they have an extra option that some other characters have. Let's just say that. So let's say when they whiff a throw, um, of course you can do generic things like punishing it. The low 40x fireball, once you get really good, you can start doing like 
crouching um, Pyrrhus to oh god anything EX Donkey Kick the Spiral Wall whatever um, that's the Donkey Kick of course is the best uh, most damage or stun and then <coughs> so that's that area I mean but Ryu has many uh, I guess kind of like I, when Ryu gets a parry, it's excruciatingly painful. So he jumps in. Let's say he parries Ken's fierce anti-air, and he goes boom, 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 boom. Oh god, I messed that up. So he goes. Let's reset the damage. Boom, boom, boom. And then I just fierce, and then so like. After I did that Furious, he reset. I didn't do an uppercut, so he didn't get a hard knockdown. He reset, and then I dashed forward. And then I did immediate Furious Punch to EX, <coughs> EX Tornado Kick, which wasn't even like the b most like most damaging, most stun move. I could have done another EX Doggy Kick, whatever, uh, and he would have been completely stunned. But that combo that I did... Uh, brought him to almost stun. Now, after I reset him with that Fierce Punch, after the EX Donkey Kick, I ran up, and typically in that situation, a lot of people want to throw. So I did immediate Fierce Punch into EX, you know what I mean? And gambles like that with Ryu pay off, as you can see, highly, huge. They pay off in huge numbers. Oh god, that was... <laughs> I was on some tech and stuff. So you can see how once you get a hit with Ryu, it just it can just the momentum can get insane. Um, he has the all right footsie and zoning game. Like I said, it's slower than other Shotos, so be wary of that. And but um, he is just where the other shows as far. Let's say, let's take Ken for example. Ken sometimes struggles to do insane amount of damage, but he's so good at, at everything. He's got solid damage, he's got solid everything else, but he doesn't like have it insane damage, you know what I mean? But Ryu, he may be like stressed with the normal, like, I'm sorry, not stress. he might like, lack some speed on his normals, but his moves and his combos do insane amount of damage and stuff. Opening people up by throwing them. But if you're not throwing people a lot, then why are they not just going down back and blocking you all day? If someone is going down back and blocking you all day, you are not throwing someone enough. You are not mixing them up enough. You are not throwing in uh, and like annoying overheads and uh, just. I mean, it's it's just that's how it is. <laughs> if someone can down black all day, you're just not throwing them. You're not using all your options. You can do stuff like low forward buffer into your hurricane kick. You can hear that I'm buffering it and pressing the hurricane kick too, but if it hits, it will go into that. So that is when, so something like that, it's kind of like the last video we did with the Dudley one where you're buffering it, and if they dash forward or run into it or they mess up like their distance on a normal and you hit their normal, it will come out. Same with the EX Fireball, which is, in my opinion, better to do because uh, the hurricane kick doesn't always hit crouching opponents uh, if it if the hit is different. Uh, there are some cases where it actually does happen, so iffy on that. But that's why I recommend doing that EX Fireball. But playing the EX Fireball when you're playing that footsie game. And there's just so much. Ryu, of course, I mean, I didn't cover this yet, but I mean, you should know. Ryu has an uppercut. It's very damaging, one hit. So, you know, use it as an anti-air only if they're, they already have a move out, if they're jumping out with a kick or something, then go ahead and uppercut them. Uh, the EX only has m multiple hits when it's lower to the ground. When it gets up to the higher points, it will only be one hit. So, as far as parrying it, um, you might want to wait till they're lower. 
or you might want to wait till they're way high up at the arc of the very peak of their jump because no one's actually pressing forward at that there because they don't expect the anti-air to be hitting them there um, so remember when in third strike you can anti-air a thousand bajillion different ways jumping is just as dangerous in this game if not more dangerous than um, other than all the other games so also Ryu's uh, Uppercuts are actually not too bad when he is getting up from a knockdown when he's waking up. Um, just make sure to do it early. Um, if you're against a character that is actually really good at doing meaties on the other person's wake up, then you should definitely use the yeah. Alright guys, that was the Ryu Primer. Um, you know, short, sweet, simple. Uh, uh, players to watch out for. Um, well, if you want to learn who the originator for Denjin Ryu is, check out Frankie3s, he's a friend of mine, and he is honestly the person that expired, inspired me to play Third Strike, and like shaped all my play styles today. Um, Vanal is also like an amazing, probably the best Ryu out right now, as far as like, you know, how I like to play. So check him out, Vanal is spelled V-A-N-A-O. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's it. I'll see you guys.